Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking mineral sunscreens. Now, mineral sunscreens definitely have pros and some major cons to them, right? Pros are that they can be incredibly gentle on sensitive skin. Cons can be that they can come with a white cast and they can definitely feel kind of drying on the skin. I have struggled with mineral sunscreens in the past, but along my sunscreen journey, I have found a handful that I really do enjoy Enjoy and go back to time and time again. So today I'm going to share with you five of my favorite mineral sunscreens. They are fragrance free. They are essential oil free and they are minimally drying on the skin with a minimal white cast on my skin tone. I'm going to be ranking these from five all the way to my number one favorite. And if you're looking for white cast free sunscreens, I recently ranked my top five chemical sunscreens. So definitely check that one out. All right, let's jump into these picks. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. My number five pick is the Haru Haru Black Rice Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen. This offers SPF 50 plus PA plus four protection. Now this is my number five pick because full transparency, this is the product that is the newest to me in this video. Everything else I've used for at least a year, if not longer, this is a little bit closer to about a month. Um, so it is newer. Um, it is like risky to make it my number five pick, but quite honestly, this impressed me from day one. I have a pretty high benchmark when it comes to mineral sunscreens. As I mentioned, there's quite a few cons and drawbacks to mineral sunscreen. And for me, you know, definitely the white cast, I have a skin tone that's quite borderline. The white cast could be like acceptable um, on me or it could be really, really bad. And the other benchmark for me is the drying factor. Does the mineral sunscreen just take the living hydration out of my skin? I am prone to dehydration and so many mineral formulas make my skin feel so dry and tight like two hours in and like I always say you know the best sunscreen is the one that you joyfully wear and I'm not joyful wearing a sunscreen that makes my skin feel so dry so quite honestly like 80% of mineral sunscreens that I try don't even reach those two benchmarks this did that effortlessly. Now, this is achieving the sunscreen protection using zinc oxide. Traditionally, there are two mineral filters out there, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This is actually only using zinc, which is a trend that I'm seeing a lot. This has such a lovely texture. That's what really drew me in at first was this really creamy, silky kind of formula. So many mineral sunscreens can have a dry, chalky kind of texture that makes it really hard to spread on the skin and really hard to blend, you know, into the skin. It's one thing if it spreads easily. It's another if you can actually get it to blend into your skin and, and really like disperse down into your skin, especially for mineral sunscreens with a white cast that's visible. I can't tell you how many times I have been so embarrassed out in public. I like look it, at my like reflection in a mirror or something. I see all these streaks because it didn't blend properly into my skin. I'm just like, oh my goodness, your sunscreen is so visible. You got to do like a mirror check before you leave, right? So I love that this blends into the skin so, so nicely. And it doesn't feel heavy or overly greasy on the skin. It actually feels really light and breathable, very pleasant. And it doesn't build up in my eyebrows, which I absolutely hate with mineral sunscreens. The white cast is there. It's what I would say on my skin tone is minimal is what I would say is acceptable. For the most part, I would definitely be layering this underneath makeup just because it does kind of pale me out quite a bit. And so for me, um, I find this texture actually works really well underneath my makeup products. It doesn't pale, it doesn't ball up. It's not so, um, you know, sometimes sunscreens can have such a, a dewy type of finish on them that it actually like breaks through your makeup and makes it look like really shiny and, and like it just messes with the finish, right, of what you're trying to achieve with makeup. This I would say is one of the most friendly um, to makeup wearers in this video, quite honestly. It just has such a really nice, um, fantastic texture. And what really drew me in past just the application, right? And um, I love the satin finish on this. Like I said, it's not greasy, but it's it's kind of like a semi-satin finish, almost neutral. Love, love, love that. So many mineral sunscreens have a greasiness to them. My number four pick is the Make Preem UV Defense Me Calming Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus PA plus four, and they are achieving that protection using 
zinc oxide. Like I said, this is a trend um, that you're gonna see throughout this video quite a bit. And I have a suspicion as why that may be because traditionally you would use both mineral filters. There's only two out there, right? Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Now, um, titanium dioxide, while both uh, filters do have a very stark uh, white cast that's very visible on the skin, titanium dioxide has it a little bit more. And um, in fact, it's actually a pigment that's used in white paint. I use a lot of Windsor and Newton in my painting, and they do have a, a color called titanium white. It's actually a very classic white color in the painting world. And so it, it makes a lot of sense, right? If it is a pigment that is really good at creating a crisp, opaque white on a canvas, it's definitely going to give you a very noticeable white cast on your face. And so I think to create some of these more elegant, minimal white cast formulas, I think a lot of formulators are um, going towards zinc only as the UV filter to cut down on that really stark, chalky, almost gray, like on some skin tones, it can kind of get gray cast. Oh, it's so sickly looking. So anyways, that's my suspicion as why, why this is becoming uh, more popular is to only use zinc. Now let's talk about this product because Everything in this video is technically fragrance-free. That's what I really um, prefer in my skincare. But this is one of those products where it's technically fragrance-free because uh, while it doesn't have any, um, uh, you know, traditional fragrance things in it like fragrant compounds, artificial fragrance, perfume, essential oils, they've definitely imparted a scent to this formula using plant extracts, specifically peach, melon, and pear extracts that are actually, I actually find the scent of this very pleasant, but you know, like I said, like I'm kind of a stickler, like it's only technically fragrance-free. The scent is kind Kind of like a creamy powdery like very lightly floral type of scent i find it like really pleasant i think it's so so nice um but technically fragrance free no not really texture this is a still a creamy type of um sunscreen almost like a sunscreen cream right it's a creamy texture but it still like spreads and blends really beautifully it's a really nice silky texture but it has more emolliency than the haru haru sunscreen does it's not as thin there's a little bit more moisture to this and I do find that it, it gives a little bit more of a kiss of dew um, to to your skin too in the finish this isn't where Haru Haru I would say was like almost neutral to semi satin this is I would call it a full-on satin you're gonna get a little bit more dew a little little bit more hint of shininess to your skin and actually a little bit more moisture from this formula too now if I had to be very very picky and again I'm kind of doing a comparison here just so that you can really understand the differences I would say the white cast here is just a little bit more than Haru Haru it's so hard to tell but like just a whisper more it's a little bit more apparent on application and then it, it does fade after the first couple of minutes as this is drying and setting on your skin um, but still I would classify this as minimal as acceptable um, and something with a really nice texture that that blends like I said into the skin well so you're not gonna get as many like of those like streaky kind of things if you're not meticulous with your application so I really like this I actually did a dedicated video review on this it's about a year ago now so if you want to really dive into this definitely check that video out my number three pick is something completely different this is the La Roche-Posay light fluid sunscreen offering SPF 50 protection with broad spectrum now this is different for many many reasons number one we have 11% of titanium dioxide ah a different filter <laughs> and and as I was mentioning, you know, a lot of the formulas do rely more on zinc because it helps to create more of a minimal white cast where titanium dioxide has more of a, a, a stark white cast to it. We have 11% here, which is A-OK -okay because this formula is tinted. Oh yes. Now this is a concept that I think is really, really good, right? Adding a skin tone tint to a mineral sunscreen to cut down completely on the white cast, I think is awesome. That being said, it's so like the concept is so within its infancy. I just don't really feel like we've nailed the execution of this quite yet, or at least in my experience in the products that I have used, 
I've just really never been able to find a tint that suits my skin tone. You know, I feel like brands will throw a tint in that will cover maybe a good majority of people, um, but there's usually oxidization issues, of course, matching issues, of course, inclusivity issues, right? One pigment, one tone isn't going to cover it all. And so I would love to see, maybe this already exists, I don't know, but I would love to see more of this where there's multiple tints available, maybe even multiple undertones and whatever you need to do to work on that oxidization, like really start to treat the sunscreen almost like a makeup product if you're gonna tint it, right? I think that that would be really, really cool. I haven't quite seen it yet. Almost, ev almost every tinted, I swear to you, almost every tinted mineral sunscreen makes me look so orange. All that being said though, I've ranked this fairly high, right middle of the pack in the video. This tint actually works for my skin tone. Um, so it was really impressive just from that because it's like, I remember, I like, I like very clearly remember the very first time I used this, I think it was last year, last summer, I was like, this isn't gonna work, but I wanna test it out. And I was like, hey, I think I may, maybe I'm not even gonna put makeup on today. I'm just gonna like put this on and maybe just like do my eyebrows. Like, this is amazing. I love this so, so much. It just kind of evens out your skin tone. It's not heavy coverage. It's very sheer still. Um, so if you have hyperpigmentation and things like that, like this isn't gonna cover it, but it just helps to even things out if you have some redness or something that it will kind of mask that a little bit. Um, really, really nice. Something else that's different about this sunscreen is that it has a fluid type of texture. Everything has been more creamy, lotion-like. This is a true fluid texture, which I find impressive because this formula actually does not contain any drying forms of alcohol. I do find that the more liquidy type of sunscreen textures, they're harder to pull off if they don't have drying forms of alcohol in it. So I'm really pleasantly surprised that it doesn't have that in here. And because it's more fluidy, of course, it's gonna spread on the skin like a dream, which is, I think with the tint, you really do want a good spread and blend, right? Um, so I think that they've really nailed the texture here. Let me tell you about um, the finish though, because it definitely is quite wet looking. I mean, this is greasy terror. Territory. It's one of the few drawbacks of the sunscreen. I mean, I really do like this so, so much, but the finish <laughs> is so, so wet looking. It doesn't feel greasy on the skin. It doesn't sit heavy or emollient or like even very moisturizing on the skin at all, but it just looks so darn wet. So you definitely do want to plan to powder this one down. Once it's dried, you definitely want to um, put some powder to, to neutralize that finish. It is quite quite, quite shiny. Uh, this is actually one of the few sunscreens in this video that is rated for water resistance to up to 40 minutes. So that makes it a really nice pick if you're, you know you're going to be sweating a little bit. Um, not all sunscreens are rated for water resistance or have that stay putness on the skin, which is actually really important for uh, making sure that you've got that good protection on your skin. Because if you're getting, if it's super humid, if you're like sweating, if you're doing anything near water, that is actually breaking down the protective film on your skin. And so you know, sunscreens that have um, a water resistant rating are going to stay put on the skin just a little bit better. So that's another thing that I like about this. It makes it a nice safe choice when I know I'm going to be sweating a bit. My number two pick is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Natural Sun Cream. This offers SPF 50 plus PA plus 4 protection using zinc oxide. Are you surprised? <laughs> um, this is relying on zinc oxide like most of the products in this video. Now I must admit, I do find this product really similar to, to Make Preem. Very, very similar. There's some minute differences here. I'm going to try to point them out. Um, but if you are interested in this one, I do also have a dedicated review on this from last year. You can check it out. Um, but this is something that I reached for so much. I was like, I had this like mineral sunscreen like moment last year where like all I wanted to wear was mineral sunscreen for some reason. I think I was going through some type of skin irritation and like chemical sunscreens for some reason just weren't feeling great on my skin at that time. So I just like naturally shifted over to mineral for a little bit um, while my skin kind of sorted itself out. And so that's when I like went on this like um, big mineral kick and I tried so many different sunscreens and that's why I had like a nice amount of reviews at that point in time. So go check that 
that video out if you're interested. This is similar to Make Preem, of course, in um, the filter that they're using. Um, it's similar in texture too, because it's we're going back to that creamier type of texture. But I find this actually is not as moisturizing as Make Preem. It almost has like that hydration feel to it. Because this is part of the hyaluronic acid line from Isentry, there is a little bit of that, that hydration. I don't usually get like a hydrating factor from mineral sunscreens. They're usually just there, <laughs> not offering much to the skin, or sometimes they're they're um, emollient and moisturizing. This actually has almost like that, that little hydration to it, which I really, really appreciate. So not as moisturizing, but still kind of a similar consistency in the texture. Spreads and blends really nicely. This one looks a lot whiter on application than the other products do, and it needs a longer time to set on the skin. Maybe the dry time here is a little bit longer because when I first apply this to my skin, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. And then like five minutes later, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm good. We're good. We're good here. <laughs> it really takes some time to, to settle that white cast down. So just be aware of that. Um, if you get an opportunity to try this out, you might be afraid at first. Really great texture here again. Uh, works nicely underneath makeup. Um, no pilling here. The um, the ingredients. Let's go back here because I said it's really similar to Make Preem, but this is not one of those technically fragrance free, but has a scent. This is actually fairly minimal in the ingredients, and we're not really relying on heavy plant extracts here. This does seem to have a bit of a dewier finish to it. Um, slightly more maybe than Make Preem, but this actually feels a little bit lighter on the skin. Like I said, it doesn't have as much of the emotion. So while it is a little bit more dew, it's not like a greasy, heavy kind of feel on the skin. My number one pick is, can you guess? Avene Mineral Multi-Defense Sunscreen SPF 50 with Broad Spectrum Protection. Now this is using 12% of zinc oxide. And this is also another sunscreen that is rated for water resistance. Now, the reason that I'm naming this my number one mineral sunscreen is just purely based on the fact that it's the one that I go back to the most. You know, all of these sunscreens have been with me, as I mentioned, except for Haru Haru, which is a newer pick, um, maybe a little bit of a wild card, but I really like it. Um, but otherwise, the rest of them are ones that I've had around for a long time that I've gone back to a lot. All that being said though, the one I've gone back to the most is the Avene sunscreen. And that doesn't make it perfect. It doesn't make it the best for all situations, but I just have to say like, you know, like I mentioned earlier, sunscreen, the very best one for you is the one that you're gonna joyfully wear. And I, when I wear this, I feel joyful. Like I just, it sidesteps a lot of the, like I said, like all of the, the cons that I encounter with mineral sunscreens, this just doesn't really have it. This water resistance is, it is water resistant, but it's not like waterproof. No sunscreen is, but there's some sun sunscreens that do it better, that do it for up to 80 minutes or or at least are more geared towards um, maybe more like sporty activities, sweating a lot more, water activities. This ain't it. This is not gonna be your swimming sunscreen. I'm speaking from personal experience. I sweat through this fairly quickly. Um, it stood up a lot better than the rest of the sunscreens in this video that don't have water resistance. This is gonna stand up much better than those, but this is still not a sports sunscreen. I really like this sunscreen. I love the texture. It's another fluid type of texture uh, achieved without drying forms of alcohol, which I really like. It just, it just like applies so easily. I just like, I cannot tell you how many times I have been so embarrassed because there's streaks of mineral sunscreen on my face. Um, this just blends into the skin so, so nicely. The white cast, it's there, but it's not so bad. And you know, I would say that this is like a satin finish. I don't, I would not classify this um, dewy. I would definitely not say it's greasy. This is not like La Roche-Posay at all. Um, but there's just like a little, like a little hint of dew to it, a little, a little emolliency to this that um, will add a little a little shine to the skin, but it's not too bad. Um, and I think that it works really nicely under makeup. It reapplies really, really nicely. It's just an elegant mineral sunscreen. You know, I really love that fluid texture. I love how this blends into my skin. I love that it's comfy, you know? I have so many woes with mineral sunscreens. This one just doesn't really give me any of them. And so, yeah. I reach for it all the time. It's It's been my sidekick for, for a mineral, you know, sunscreen. It's been the one that I go to pretty much all the time. 
and um, it's just it's just really elegant and so yeah this is definitely my number one pick of mineral sunscreens so let me know your favorite mineral sunscreens in the comments below now if you watched this video all the way through and it was helpful for you but you haven't hit subscribe yet please before you take off I'd be so honored if you'd come join our community we love gentle skincare we love k-beauty we love all skincare so join the community and turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I post the new videos or the new shorts. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. And thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon.